Hello and good afternoon. Mike here with Mike Talks About Subarus. Today we're going to take a look at the 2020 Subaru Forester base model alloy wheel package. Let's take a quick walk around here and I'll show you some of the features. We've got the alloy wheels now versus steel wheel hubcap and the add on of the roof rails. Subaru's done away with the lever to open up the fuel fill door. It's now a matter of just pushing on the door, swinging it open. Now if your car is locked, it does lock it out so you cannot open it. You'll find the rear seats to be slightly more comfortable than they were in the previous generation. Here we've got the two-tone gray interior. You'll have your backup camera and your rear cargo area here. On each side you'll notice little hooks coming up. What those are are for grocery bags where you have your cans and bottles that like to roll away. You can just take your grocery bag loops, loop them over the hooks and everything's going to stay put. We've got your 12 volt port back here. If you need to run a compressor or anything like that, if you're going camping or blow dryer. A little storage underneath. Roadside kit, umbrellas, maybe a booster cable. Then below there you're going to find your spare tire, your jack, the lug wrench, tow hook, everything that you'll need. Pulling down the rear seats, it's just a matter of lifting up on the piton, 60-40 split, another one on the other side, lift up on that and that whole section will fold right down to expand your cargo area. Getting into the car, you'll find your seat adjustments for the driver's side, you can raise the seat. You can lower the seat. This handle here will tilt the back portion of the seat. And to the front is the bar to move the seat forwards and backwards. Adjusting your mirrors. L for the left mirror. R for the right. And it's just a joystick to move those around. The car does have to be in the on position or running in order to use those. You've got your door locks, windows, of course your door opening handle here. Inside the car, you'll have your buttons for controlling different things, which I'll go over here in a little bit. Trapometer reset, cruise control, over here, radio controls, and again, all this I'll go over with you. Radio, climate control, parking brake, and of course, glove box, and all your vents. We'll put the key in, fire this up. First thing you'll notice when you do start the car is the lights do turn on indicating that some features are off. What that is is just doing a self test on the systems. Once the car is completely started up, they disappear and you know all your systems are active. If you do have a system that is still turned off, there will be a light that will show you that you have a system off. Now going over what each of these buttons does, we'll start with your dashboard to the left hand side. This here is going to be the knob that controls brightness for your dash lights. This button will turn off your traction control. 
This button will turn off the auto start stop system of the Forester. Up above, this is your tripometer reset, where you can switch between tripometer A, tripometer B, press and hold it to reset that trip back to zero. Here's your headlights, starting with the off position, auto, where they will turn on automatically. Parking lights only, on all the time. Push forward for high beam, you see the indicator there. Pull back for low beam, up and down for your blinkers. To the right hand side, your windshield wiper wand, down one click intermittent, second click is low, third click is high, pull the whole thing towards you, squirt the windshield. The inside button will control the intermittent speed. The outside button knob will control your rear wiper. Intermittent, on, squirt, squirt. On your steering wheel, left and right, we'll go through your radio stations that you have preset. Volume up and down with the volume. Source switches between AM, FM, CD, auxiliary. Info is going to change what you're looking at at the little heads up display up here. Whether it's your instant miles per gallon, average miles per gallon, you're always going to have your temperature outside and the uh, clock. Below there, your talk button for the radio as well as answer the phone for Bluetooth and hang up the phone. Inside the wheel, you have buttons you can pull towards you, up and down. Those will scroll through the options of the center screen. You'll have instant speedometer, digital. Your time that the auto start stop has actually been used. Individual tire pressure and your economy gauges. To the right hand side, cruise control on and off. The up and down here will adjust the distance between you and your lead vehicle for adaptive cruise control. Up is resume, down is set and coast. This button here turns off or on lane centering and lane keep assist which I go over more in another video. Below that SI drive S puts in a sport mode I is intelligent mode sport mode gives you sharper acceleration with lower gas mileage intelligent mode is going to give you a smoother more basic acceleration with higher gas mileage. Moving to your radio basic touchscreen radio You've got your phone, Subaru Starlink, which gives you outside information, uh, uses your data plan to connect you to the outside world for things like Yelp and uh, iHeartRadio, a few different other options. Media would be selected for using your CD, or if you have a thumb drive plugged in down below, or possibly maybe a iPod. Radio will bring you to your radio screen where you can select FM, AM, or Sirius XM pre-programmed stations down below. If you want to program in a station, say if you like the 101.7, you want to put that as your number five station, all you have to do is go to the station you like, select which number, press and hold until it beeps at you and it's gonna program it in there. You can overwrite any station anytime, it's very easy. You can program in up to 18 stations. You've got your volume knob, Home button brings you back to your home screen. Tuner knob. Media. So these are just hard buttons, shortcut buttons for what you have up here. Apps is going to bring up your Subaru Starlink, your AHA radio, Pandora if you have it, your phone set up for Pandora. Travel Link gives you things such as weather updates, uh, where you can find gas, sports updates, and stock updates. Settings brings you into all your radio settings, uh, basic car settings, and... Uh, where you can add additional devices for Bluetooth. And that's the basics there.
coming down below four-way light auto climate control even in the base model Forester now so you can select where it's going to blow or you can select auto so the car will select where it's going to blow fan speed and air recirculation selection and then of course temperature and AC off or on moving on from there we've got your parking brake and your auto vehicle hold parking brake to engage it's just a matter of pulling up on the switch and your brake is engaged to disengage it car has to be on foot on the brake push down on the button and it will disengage your parking brake AVH is auto vehicle hold if you have that engaged you'll have a little light show up in the upper right hand corner of your dash indicating you've turned it on the auto vehicle hold will take the vehicle and engage the brake set once you've come to a complete stop and actually hold that brake until you've either touched the gas pedal or tapped the brake again uh, releasing the car for free movement glove box same as always sun visors here with the vanity mirror and they do extend as well sunglasses holder and your buttons that you can turn off the lane sway warning or your pre-collision braking for the Subaru iSight. If you want to turn on and off your map lights it's just a matter of pushing the button. And that's basically the new Subaru in a nutshell. Um, the iSight system you don't want to reach up and put your hands on the cameras. Uh, those lenses, are, they're designed that they should not have to be cleaned. If they do, uh, you want to speak with your dealership to have that taken care of. Uh, when it comes to cleaning the inside of your windshield, what you'll want to do is either spray your cloth and then wipe the windshield down or hold a piece of paper or cardboard over the EyeSight cameras while you're spraying the windshield so back spray doesn't come back and get on those lenses. That wraps it up. If you do have any questions, please post in the comments below. Thank you.